Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Medline, earlier this year, the Minister of Environment and Climate Change sought, and I quote, feedback on the development of a pollution prevention or P2 planning notice for primary food plastic packaging. And um, in respect of, and I quote, Canada's large grocery retailers to prepare and implement pollution prevention plans for primary food plastic packaging. Did your company participate in those consultations on the proposed plastics ban for fresh food? And can you give this committee an idea of what it will mean for consumers at the retail perspective? Uh, because we know that the plastic, we've heard from industry that the plastic ban is going to cost an enormous amount. It will also potential leave us with potential food security issues. But do you know what this will do to food costs or food availability? Yeah, thanks for your question. And, and we did give feedback through our um, industry rep, uh, the Retail Council of Canada. So feedback was given to the government. And like most every retailer, we're seeking to reduce our use of plastics. But I am concerned that the legislation regulation is running way ahead of the packaging innovation and technology available. And uh, I was reading that a study commissioned by the Canadi Canadian Produce Marketing Association said the proposed rules would add a 30% increased cost of packaging and that that's supported by Retail Council of Canada's preliminary estimates. So this would obviously exacerbate inflation if, if it were to occur. But I'd also, as you mentioned, be very worried and uncomfortable moving too fast. The number one job we have is to ensure food safety. And that's our number one job in this country. We have a great country in terms of food safety. And we got to be careful in that. And and I'm really worried if we act in haste that food waste could increase, which is really, really bad. But we'll always, you know, look to eliminate plastics where we can. And, uh, uh, but let's just make sure we're doing the right things and we're not acting hastily. And we got to think things through. Thank you, Mr. Medline. Mr. Medline, you have a number of stores under your banner, and you did touch on food waste a little bit, but I'm wondering if you could share with this committee and to Canadians who are watching right now, how much food would be wasted if produce were not to come in pack plastic packaging, because it does help extend the shelf life and it does help get food to rural and remote communities in this country. So if you could just give us a, a quick idea of how much food waste and what the cost would be to consumers, how much the price would go up of fresh food. Um, thanks for your question. And, and uh, without a feasible innovation that we could use to wrap food uh, safely, um, I don't have a number. I can tell you it's a lot. 